Bulls and the Memphis Tigers, USF, making their first visit to the Liberty Bowl since 2003. Memphis trying to stay in first in the league. Bulls trying to stay bowl eligible. USF had to deal with this guy all day long. Six foot seven quarterback Paxton Lynch goes off the left side for five yards. He threw for two scores and ran for two. Historic day for Marlon Mack of USF. Going over 1,000 yards on the season. Here he is, first and 10 from the 25. Breaks into the secondary, and that's it. Ninth rushing touchdown of the year for Mack. This one goes 75 yards. It gets the Bulls back to within 14 to 10 in the second quarter. Here's the ground view. Mack is just the third back to hit 1,000 yards in a season for the Bulls. He's the first freshman to ever do it, had 102 yards on the day. So it's 14 to 10 Memphis, second quarter, and the Tigers about to strike again. Lynch rolling right, and Mose Frazier gets behind the Bulls' defense, runs it in for the score. That's 42 yards on that play, and the Tigers trying to get to 6-1 in the league. Lead it 21 to 10. Bulls tack on a field goal now, second half, and Memphis on the run again. Here is Lynch finding his running back, Brandon Hayes. Short touchdown pass makes it 28 to 13, and the Bulls' bowl hopes are in danger. Here's a critical turnover for the Bulls, their only one of the day. Marlon Mack on the end around, can't get the exchange from Quinton Flowers. Memphis falls on it, and a great scoring opportunity for the Bulls goes by the boards. Now, late in the game, Stephen Bench on for the injured Mike White. There's Andre Davis. Don't worry about the flag. It's defensive pass interference. Davis with yet another touchdown pass, but the Bulls wind up short. 31-20 to the Memphis Tigers. UCF next Friday.